Love. That is what life is all about, at least that's what modern media is telling us. With modern movies and TV shows all about love, how can we think of much else? These love-centered films which have taken over the brains of teen girls include The Notebook, Call Me By Your Name, Ten Things I Hate About You, and of course, the one, the only, Twilight. We are here to analyze the love triangle in Twilight between Bella Swan, her mysterious vampire boyfriend, Edward Cullen, and her werewolf best friend slash fellow love interest, at least in his eyes, Jacob Black. But most importantly, we are here to discuss why, by picking Edward, Bella was making the right choice out of the two boys. One way Edward was the better fit for Bella was he always wanted the best for her, even when that meant hurting himself. He's always been against Bella turning into a vampire. Even though turning her into a vampire would prevent him from the excruciating pain he would feel from her death, he believes it would rob her of her deserved human life. He doesn't want her to have to watch her mortal friends and family die. So, he thinks that turning her would be selfish of him, for it would prevent his pain, but cause hers. At the end of Midnight Sun, he thinks, quote, I could never pay for my own happiness with the loss of hers. This not only proves Edward's strong love for Bella, but how he places her happiness before his own. Stephanie Meyer, the author of Twilight, once said, To me, true love is that you would hurt yourself before you'd hurt your partner. Proving it was Edward's true love for Bella which made him set on hurting himself in the future to prevent her pain. Some might think that no one should put their partner's well-being that far before their own, but I and Stephanie Meyer see it as a sign of true love. Throughout Twilight, it is established more than once that Bella is a lover of romance books, her favorite being Wuthering Heights. By noting her love for the genre, one can assume one reason she loves reading them is she wants a romance like that for herself. In the beginning of the story, she gets to experience that sort of love through reading and immersing herself in the world of epic romance. When Edward came along and she fell in love with him, she finally had that epic love that earlier she could only read about, where they would do anything for each other. In short terms, with the pure passion and strength of their love, Edward provided her with the kind of love she wanted all along. Jacob could not. Their relationship was platonic before he confessed his unreciprocated, at the time, love for Bella. Bella even wished once that Jacob was her brother, so she could hang around him without feeling guilty for encouraging his romantic feelings for her. Jacob could not have given her that fierce love she desired and achieved getting with Edward. Stephanie Meyer says in a future interview how Bella didn't realize she was falling in love with Jacob and New Moon because it was a less dramatic sweep you off your feet type of falling in love. The thing is, Bella wanted that type of falling in love. Throughout the series, Bella states numerous times that she simply loves Edward more than Jacob. In Eclipse, after her first consensual kiss with Jacob, she does the walk of shame back to Edward, who had heard everything. And he says this. I love it. I love you more. I know. Even after Bella's makeout session with Jacob, her feelings for Edward had remained unmoved, proving the strength of the love she held for him. Even though choosing Jacob would have meant Bella could have stayed human and had a much more normal life, she still chose Edward, even though she had to sacrifice so much to be with him, from leaving her human life behind to having to watch all of her mortal friends and family die. Overall, Bella and Edward's love for each other was just too strong for anything to stand in the way. Edward was the right choice for Bella because he fulfilled her romantic desires for a romance book love, he put her happiness before his own, and she simply loved him more. By having Bella choose Edward, Twilight teaches girls to follow their hearts, even when their hearts are pointing them down a hard path. Let's face it, I am hotter than you. Even after <laughs> you love him. I love you more. I know. <laughs>